My name is Kaylee O'Doherty. I'm a pianist, composer, arranger, and band leader, and this is my project celebrating Lil Hart and Armstrong. Will Harden Armstrong was born in 1898 in Memphis, Tennessee. She was raised by her mother and her grandmother. Her father died when she was young and she grew up with an organ in the house and she loved to play the piano from a young age. Lil's first professional experience with music would be playing in church. I believe she got paid to do that when she was young. And then she started playing as a sight reader or a music demonstrator um, when she moved to Chicago with her family around the age of 15. She would read sheet music for people and there's a great interview of her where she talks about um, Jelly Roll Morton coming in and demonstrating some music and showing her how kind of confident and heavy, as she says, he would play the piano and it inspired her greatly from a young age. She discovered jazz music at a young age and her mother and grandmother were very upset that she was interested in learning more about jazz music because it was seen as uh, the devil's music. Lil got a job playing at a cabaret when she was about 15 or 16 years old and it was a very late gig. I think it started around 1 a.m. and her mother was mortified about this. She found out three months after she had started performing with this group in Chicago. Lil Hardin was an incredible composer. Uh, she also wrote lyrics, she was also a singer, and she also was an amazing piano player. She had many, many facets to her musicianship, but something that stands out the most to me about her music is her compositions. She had such a unique style of writing for the time. It was very expressive. She has little embellishments and details in the music that make it have character. And that's what separated her from her peers. She stood out because she fought for what she wanted. When she wanted to get that job as a sight reader at the music store, it was because she wanted to learn all of the music they had. She wanted to practice the popular music of the time that her mom didn't want her to learn. And at first when she arrived, they said, oh, you're just a little girl. But she said, can I try? And they let her. And after she played, they gave her the job anyways. Lil Hardin met Louis Armstrong through King Oliver. Lil Hardin was playing in King Oliver's band for a good period of time before um, King Oliver sent for Louis to come from New Orleans to Chicago to play with his band. And she, when she first met him in an interview, she says she didn't think anything about him. Uh, she thought he was just another musician from another city. But then King Oliver made a comment saying that Louis Armstrong was actually a better trumpet player than he was. And she said then she started to listen for what made him stand out. In Louis Armstrong's Hot Five group, Lil composed many of the compositions that were made famous by his group, like Strum with some barbecue, Two Deuces, and Don't Jive Me, which happened to be some of the compositions we're performing. I had heard about Lil Hardin when I was in college at Berkeley in a class uh, about Louis Armstrong in relation to the Hot Five group, and I was very curious about learning more about her music. She was not someone that came up very often in my studies. Several years ago, I did my master's degree at Queens College and I took a class on Louis Armstrong and Lil Hardin came up again many, many times, not only in the context of the Hot Five group, but also in the context of transforming Louis Armstrong's career. She made a lot of sacrifices to her own career to push his career and to help him succeed. One of those ways was by having him quit King Oliver's band and go out and network to create his own group. I wanted to learn more about her, so I started digging in the Louis Armstrong archives at Queens College, and I found a bunch of original charts, sheet music that she had written, and 
S several of the songs were compositions that I had been taught were Louis Armstrong's compositions, but they actually had her name on it and her handwriting. And I was curious to know more about that as she's one of jazz music's most underrepresented women. Many people have recorded Lil Hardin's music over the years. Uh, one of her songs, Just For A Thrill, was recorded by Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin. It says a lot about her as a composer that her music transcends different genres and that musicians in more popular time periods as it evolved were able to modernize her music even though it was written many years before. For this project, I brought together some of my best friends and my favorite musicians, Tahira Clayton on voice, Michael Mayo on voice, Tamir Schmerling on bass, Nicole Glover on tenor saxophone, and Corey Cox on drums. My goal was to modernize Lil Hardin's music in a way that paid homage to her contributions to the music world and also to give recognition and some context for people to learn more about her music and her life. I want to give a special thanks to the Chamber Music America Presenters Consortium for Jazz Grant and the three presenting partners, the National Jazz Museum in Harlem, Alabama Women in Jazz Festival, and the New Orleans Jazz Museum. Thank you so much for your contributions. This project has been a dream of mine for several years, and I am so excited for you all to hear the music. Hope you enjoy the show. They took a little pinch from the jasmine bower and mixed it with the fragrance of every other flower, then sprinkled it down with a little April shower. Said, let's call it love. They took a little light from the mellowing moon, from the throat of the thrush. They took a little tune and spread it all around where lovers get spoon said. Let's call it love Now they found it was a treasure Whose price they couldn't measure So they locked it up in everybody's heart The keys, hugs and kisses You'll never know what bliss is Until you carry off a little part Now they took a little sugar And some honey from the bee They put a light in every eye For other folks to see They gave you just a little but a lot of it to me So baby, let's call it
took a little pinch from the jasmine bower and mixed it with the fragrance of every other flower and sprinkled it down with a little April shower said let's call it love they took a little light from the mellowing moon from the throat of the thrush they took a little tune and spread it all around where lovers could spoon said let's call it love now they found it was a treasure whose price they couldn't measure so they locked it up in everybody's heart the keys hugs and kisses you'll never know what bliss is until you carry off a little part oh they took a little sugar and some honey from the bee they put a light in every eye for other folks to see they gave you just a little but a lot of it to me so baby let's call it love oh let's call it love let's call it
much bluer than blue Found a friend I thought pure and true Without anyone in Since yesterday Now my eyes are all glassy But I ain't had a drink Took 24 hours just trying to think Why did he leave me? Why did he leave me? disease makes you green lose all ambition have run down condition my mind's insane my heart's aflame oh I love him so I know that no other love song will I ever sing. The blues in my heart, it will always ring. Why did he leave me? Why? Why? 
no one can ever find you. No one can take you from me. You and I, we will never be apart. You're safely locked up in my heart. No matter where you are today, safely locked up in my heart now for years my life had been vacant and I was alone forsaken but the day that I saw you and was thrilled twas then that I knew that my life had been filled now that I've got you under lock and key no take you from me and there's nothing in this world can ever keep us apart oh you're safely locked up in my heart
organ. Get busy, brother, and hug me. Or leave me alone. Now the moon and stars way up above says I love you, I love you. There's only one thing in this white world that I want you to do, oh baby, when I ask you for money. And you know I gotta have plenty of money. 